My martini got stirred, not shaken, and now it tastes bad. The patch notes that dropped a couple of days back now for Battlefield 1, of course they introduced a lot of changes, some good and some bad in the eyes of the community. The new revive syringe cooldown system seems to have rubbed people up the wrong way, myself included, and in some cases it's what the patch didn't touch that people seem to be even more annoyed about. For example, the gas grenades and the grenade spam that was only added to with the grenade crossbow. Whilst it's a cool feature and undoubtedly very fun to use and get kills with, was it really needed? And that brings me on to what DICE decided to do with our much-loved Martini Henry. It's no secret it's a popular weapon in Battlefield 1, and it offered some favourable statistics pre-patch to give it the one-up on lots of other infantry variants in the game, considering you can only use it with iron sights and it's a single loading rifle as well. It did need to be balanced differently to the other rifles to really make it a good choice. Now, DICE have nerfed it changed some of the features and generally made it a harder weapon to use out there on the battlefield. I take issue with these changes not simply because the Martini Henry was something I enjoyed using, but the way that it performed was fairly unique. It genuinely stood out against other scout weapons, performing really well in mid-range and rewarding players with a one-shot kill potential for people who were accurate enough and brave enough to use the iron sights at extreme ranges. Now, the rifle performs similarly to most other bolt actions, and for me, it doesn't really feel like the grind to level 10 on the Scout class was really that worth it anymore. It falls into line with two of the other level 10 weapons, of being a real letdown in terms for the grind. The Selbslader 1906 for the Medic class and the Hewitt Automatic for the Support class, despite being unique in their own right, in comparison to other weapons in the class, I don't really feel they're able to compete in the same way that the other weapons can. The Martini Henry and the Hell Regal pre-patch both stood out as different weapons and backed up their bold characteristics with a very different playstyle, one that allowed a player to use the class in a very different way. Now though, the Martini has simply been lined up with the rest of the rifles. For those of you who are unaware, here are the changes in the patch notes that DICE made to the Martini Henry. First of all, fixed Martini Henry dealing too much damage to most body parts. It's now affected by a 0.9 times multiplier to the lower torso and the upper arms, and a 0.75 multiplier to the legs and the forearms, like most other rifles with the sweet spot mechanic. And secondly, the Martini Henry now resupplies five bullets at a time. Now of those two changes, the one that we're interested in is the first one, the fix to the damage that the Martini deals. Now before the patch, judging by the notes that were left here, it seems to tell us that the Martini Henry sweet spot damage of 100 maximum between 30 and 80 meters was applied to all hits on the body, rather than just the upper torso like the other rifles in Battlefield 1. Now if the Martini Henry was like all other rifles in the game, I'd say this nerf was a sensible one, otherwise it would have a clear advantage over everything else the Scout could end up using. Except the Martini isn't like any other rifle that the Scout can use. It is a totally different rifle in its own right. The Martini is a weapon a skilled player can use effectively but it needs to be played in a careful way to really take full advantage of it. Now the weapon's single shot mechanism presents an interesting challenge to the player. Here's one extremely powerful round, and then go and use the iron sights to hit your target. Oh and by the way, the bullet you just fired flies slower than anything else in the scout class, and you have to reload after each round that you fire. That's an interesting challenge, and almost like a mini-game within Battlefield 1 itself. This rifle is really like no other in the Scout class. It's a challenge that, quite obviously, lots of people love to take up. It's a genuine disadvantage to other players using bolt-action rifles, as opposed to the single shot that you're using, or if you come up against players with automatic weapons, you really need to pull it off to come out on the top of that gunfight. But with the limitation of iron sights, 
you really had no choice but to operate at closer ranges than, say, another scout who's got a marksman rifle variant, who's got a proper optic on there. So sometimes you would be beaten at close ranges where the sweet spot didn't give you that maximum 100 damage. For me, that showed the Martini was balanced effectively. It would succeed at medium range between 30 and 80 meters where it could deal 100 damage to the target and the player would need good aim to hit that target as well. It was kind of like this risk reward weapon, something that you needed genuine skill to get the best out of. With this update, it feels like DICE have just reduced the Martini from being a weapon that people took as that challenge and as a different gameplay experience, and they've just turned it into something that feels like all the other rifles in the Scout class. Not having that full 100 damage anywhere on the body now makes using the Iron Sights at range extremely difficult, even beyond the initial 30 meter range. You still have the single shot reload as well, which puts the Martini down on other bolt actions, all of which come with at least a five round clip, and the bullet still fires slower. So at longer ranges, you will have to lead the target more than with any other bolt action rifle in the class. A scout using any other rifle other than the Martini seems now to have a massive advantage over somebody who does take the Martini. Those players can follow up with another round, whereas the Martini user needs to fire, move, take cover, reload, and then come back out again. Removing that 100 damage shot to every part of the body means the Martini is now vastly inferior to something like the SMLE Infantry, which can fire 10 rounds before needing to be reloaded. And you get two shots off much faster with that than you can with the Martini Henry. That 100 damage to all parts of the body was the Martini's balancing feature. And to me, it just seems like DICE have removed that and not given it anything back to change that experience and keep it balanced in the Scout class. What I'm really struggling to understand though is why DICE decided to do this. The sweet spot between 30 and 80 meters isn't exactly a large one, even if it is quite preferable with 100 damage at medium range. And to simply give the reason that it is now like most other rifles with a sweet spot mechanic, for me, doesn't really quite fit. The Martini is clearly a different rifle to the rest in the class, and in my opinion, it should be balanced differently to make sure it remains effective. Still, this is DICE, and as we very well know, their patching techniques are a little bit like a pendulum. They'll swing it one way, and in the future they may just swing it back in the other direction as well. Looking at the changes to the mortars already, the patch that dropped just after the release of the game nerfed the mortars considerably, but with the patch we got on Tuesday with Giant Shadow, they gave some of that power back to the mortars. From my own point of view, I do hope they take another look at the Martini Henry and perhaps reconsider what they've done with it. All of the level 10 weapons are unique to their class in some way, and to balance them effectively, I think different balance tweaks are needed to be applied to them. They don't perform similarly to the other weapons in the class, so why would you balance them as if they are exactly the same? Just before I end today's video, I'm sure you saw it in the title, I am doing a giveaway in this video, and this one follows on from the one I did yesterday, or maybe the day before. That one was for consoles. This one is for the PC guys. I've got some really cool equipment here from Logitech that's all branded for Battlefield 1. A massive thank you to Logitech, first of all, for sending me this stuff. I've got my own set, and I'm using the mouse and the keyboard here on my desk. And then also to give away to you guys, we've got one of those pro gaming mouses, the G640 mouse mat to go with it, the G810 Orion Spectrum keyboard, and the G633 Artemis Spectrum headset as well. These three devices all link directly to Battlefield 1, and they will change color depending on what you need to do. So for example, if you need to put your gas mask on, the keyboard will flash the T button, which is the default button for gas mask on PC, telling you you need to press it and put your gas mask on. I'll be giving away this set to one lucky winner, along with a code for the barbed wire bat in the game as well. That's a very exclusive melee weapon. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning, head down into the description, click the link down there, and that will take you to the giveaway. 
I'll be using Gleam.io to run this giveaway. I think it's the fairest system, and you guys can enter in lots of different ways. The giveaway will be live for about 72 hours or so after this video goes live, so get your entry confirmed, and I wish you all the best of luck. So for now, the Martini is a little bit down on power from what it used to be. I'd love to get your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know what you think of the changes here, or indeed anything that was mentioned in the patch notes. I'll leave a link to the patch notes down in the description too. If you haven't read them, there you go. Dice have a tendency to balance things one way and then make steps in a few patches down the line and go back the other way. So let me know what you think of this one and drop me a like as well. That's always appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.